Monday morning. Monday morning. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Feelings are gonna be hurt today. But gotta keep it real. We live in a society where it makes you believe that men are nothing, basically. And you can give credit to men for that, for their low standards. You can also give credit to social media for blowing up people's heads. Is a woman a very special person? Absolutely. She's the best thing that God has given a, a, a man besides his kids. I mean, that's hand in hand. They bow even. So don't think that I'm saying that a woman's not important to a man because she is. She very much so is. But the truth is the truth. The reason why men are the prize is so simple. I want to say it now, but I, I want to get into why I feel it, and then I'll break it down at the end. Nah, fuck it, I'll say it now. You can leave the video if you want, I don't give a fuck. The reason why men are the prize is because women demand more from a man than a man demands from a woman. Every now and then, you have a woman who is basically giving more than what she gets from a man, right? But it shouldn't be that way. Honestly, the man should be the one who offers the most. He should be the prize. Not only is the man the prize, he should be the prize. I believe that. I believe a woman should be basically catered to for the most part. I mean, yeah, you want to be a power couple, that's fine. But I still feel like the man should be the ultimate one who does the most. That's just my opinion. As a man, I'm cool with that. However, don't try to play it out like men are uh, nothing, and that's what's going on. Even if a woman is an independent woman, because I know they coming, I know they marching with their army suits, you know, like a drill sergeant and shit, sluting and shit. Even if you independent, got your own money, you don't need a man for blah, blah, blah. Guess what? You still dating up higher than what you got. So therefore, the man is still the prize. Ain't no woman it's very rare a woman, uh, an independent woman, is going to date down. The only way they do that is if they want power over a man. Other than that, an a independent woman does not date down. She still dates up. She still dates more than what she got or even. And women still demand more from women than men demand from a woman. That is facts. Only every now and then the woman is the one that is basically giving more. And honestly, I think men should be the ones who give more. I think it should be that way. So, if you somebody watching and you're a woman and you get mad, understand my, my, my mentality is a man should give more than the woman. That's my mentality. So don't get mad at me because honestly, if I had a woman, I, t I don't care if I'm the prize. That's fine. That's fine with me. Perfectly fine with me. But the truth is the truth. Y'all got men out here thinking that they nothing because you put on a filter and took a picture and everybody worshiped you because you got a vagina. But a man don't get that same type of worship. So therefore, this man thinks he's nothing. He thinks he's nobody. He thinks a woman who, who looks decent is better than him. And she thinks that. She can have 10 kids, literally, and look at a man with no kids on his shit and everything. Decent looking man and everything and thinks she's better than him. The reason for that is social media. The reason for that is the simping. You simps. Bound down because you don't know your worth as a fucking man. Knowing your worth as a man don't mean, oh man, women ain't shit, I'm going to treat them bad. That's not what I'm here to say. Knowing your worth as a man is understanding that I'm the one that... I'm the prize. I'm the one that's providing the most. So how the fuck do you think that 
I got to bow down to you, but you can treat me like any old type of way you want because you got a vagina. That's what it all boils down to. And the reason why they get away with it is because you men don't have no fucking balls when it comes to vagina. You don't think with your mind. You don't logically think. You go in some type of trance and lose all power and all hope and you just break. Just like a bitch breaks, take me. Run over me because you got a vagina and you put on some makeup. That's bullshit, dog. They're asking for way more out of us men. You gotta fucking have a body, you gotta have muscles, you gotta be tall, you gotta look handsome, you gotta have all this shit. And guess what? I got all this shit and it still ain't enough. In most cases, it still ain't enough. It's only enough usually after nobody wants the woman no more. That's when you're enough for her. It's never enough when she's in her prime though. Because when she's in her prime, everybody's at her and she can't handle that. Very few women can handle their prime stages and not fuck it up and not go out and bite the apple. Very few. Most of them want to bite that apple, though. Most women are going to bite that apple. Especially if she look good. It's a gift and a curse. If she look good and she's younger and all that shit, well, let's say she ain't been defiled by men yet because men, men be on some bullshit. They be doing women wrong in the end. But ultimately, it's the woman's fault, too, for choosing these men. But hey, they want the bad boy at first, and then later they want the good guy. Which is another example of why the man is the prize. Because by the time the woman is done playing with the so-called bad boys, and the so-called good guys who finish last, they gonna be all the way up here. And the bad guys gonna be done with, but the women are gonna be done with too. So who's the prize? The man that waited? And, 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 and the so-called geek nerd that went and uh, became a scientist and now is a millionaire. And, you know, he didn't get no women then. Now all the women want him. All the women who've been defiled by other men. Who's the prize? Because in, the, in her prime, we know she's not dealing with him. We know this. This is an obvious statement. See, the pro that's another problem why they're not the prize. Because they wait until their, their worth declines then they want to be the wife instead of doing it in their prime. Not only that, they ask for more out of you than you ask. All a man asks for is a nice woman that looks good and maybe could cook and sex. That's it. If, if you want to know what a woman wants, dog, I can't even name it all on this video. I'm not even going to attempt to do it. It's not even worth it. And that's not, and all women are different, I get it. Some might be a little bit more lenient, but for the most part, they demand more out of a man than a man demands out of a woman. That is facts. And anybody who say it's not, you're lying. You're lying, dog. You're not keeping it real. Very few women are set or uh, giving more than the, um, the man is giving. And that's their stupidity. Because honestly, no woman should set a woman. It should get more out of the man than the man gets out of the woman. He's the man. He's the head, he's the leader. That's like if somebody owns the company, you know, they got more responsibility. They're required to provide more than somebody who, who is the worker. That is facts. So if the man is the head, he should be the one who is providing more for the woman. And a woman shouldn't even have to lift a finger for real. If that's your woman, she shouldn't even have to lift a finger, work or nothing. So nobody's here to kick against that at all. But let's not act like the let's not act like that this pride shit is not, it's not all, it is all. Because what do most women bring to the table? Not all, but most. Looks and sex. What else? Because they don't, they don't, most of them don't even feel, you're the man, you're supposed to buy the date. You're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that, you're the man. They really feel all they gotta do is look good and give you sex and tell they get tired of that in about three years. Then you, what you stuck with? Because she's going to stop looking good for you, too. Because she already got you. So then what? That's on a woman that she chooses to do that. She shouldn't do it. A woman who has a man should always try to keep her man attracted to her. That's on them if they want to do this or not. Right? But the point is, ain't no women walking around here not demanding shit from men. It just doesn't happen. And don't give me that independent bullshit because independent women still demand shit from men. And they demand men to be on a higher level than them. Women don't date now. Men, a woman is not gonna be playing in the NBA and date some girl out of the project. 
because she look good. That happens when the men do it. Women don't do that shit. Beyonce ain't coming to no damn hood dating some guy just because he looked handsome to her. She not doing that. Men do it though, all day long. All day long. So how the fuck men ain't the prize? I'm telling y'all, the reason why I make this video is because they got y'all feeling like y'all nothing. They got y'all feeling like they better than y'all because they put on a filter and, 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 and they got a vagina. That's it though. What else do they got? Are they nice? You know, do they got a heart? Do they know how to cook? Do they take care of their kids? What about all that? See? And, and that's what I mean, man. And, 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 and people are going to get mad. And I don't give a fuck if I don't ever get another like on Facebook again in my life. Oh well. I'm making my videos when I feel like making them. And I'm going to say the truth. The truth is the man's a prize. Because women demand more out of men than we demand out of them. Flat out. I don't even care if a woman lift a finger. She just got to be the woman I want. And I just got to be ready to be in a relationship. That's it. I really don't care what, about anything else. Who gives a fuck? But her? Oh, no, nah, it'll never work that way. There's no way in hell a woman's just going to be cool with you just being a nice guy. Very few. Some will, but most won't. And honestly, I wouldn't even want to just be a nice guy. I want to be the provider for the woman and shit like that. It's in a man's DNA, a real man's DNA. I look around the globe and all I see is you can't even get a woman to talk to you unless you are offering certain things. Or, or you can't even get them on a date unless you're paying and all this other shit. But somehow, some way, they convince y'all they're the prize. How? How are you the prize? When you ask for more out of me than I ask for out of you. That ends it. I can end the video right there. If you're the prize, then I should be able to ask for more out of you than you ask for out of me. Right? I should be able to benefit. You should benefit me way more than I benefit you because you're the prize, right? They know what the fuck they doing, man. They know they not the prize. They just running that game on y'all men to make y'all become they slaves. Not all women. Not the ones that actually like you. You know what I mean? But they still demand a lot too, don't get it twisted. But the ones who actually like you will try to get back to you. But we, we talking about, for the most part, you're gonna run into to the majority of women who don't really like you like that, or they like some other guy, they're just trying to give you a chance or some shit. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll give you a chance because I'm way above you because I look good and I'm a woman with a vagina, basically. That's bullshit, dog. That's bullshit, man. Y'all men gotta wake up, man. And, and, and the only reason why women, the only way women will start respecting men again is if men start respecting themselves. That means you as a man, when you deal with a woman, you can't just fall and break like a little ass bitch just cause she look good to you and, and she got a vagina. That's, that's what that means. If you don't stop doing that, then it's not gonna be good for y'all men. And I'ma let y'all motherfuckers hang y'all selves. Cause I'm not joining the party of that. You know what I mean? My woman ain't got to lift a finger, but I ain't bowing down like a bitch to get her. I know that much. Y'all have fun with that. She's not going to respect you anyway if you bow down like a bitch and, 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 and put her on a pedestal like that. I don't feel like treating your woman like a queen is putting her on a pedestal as long as she is putting you as a king. There's, there's a difference. But if you always got to compensate and do this and do that and, and try to be her slave and make her happy, but she really don't do nothing but give you sex or some shit, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. But men are falling for it, dog. So, be my guest. But I know as a man, I'm the prize. I don't give a fuck what she looks like. I don't care how many. She got a billion men in her DM. So what? So, you still ask for more. If you dealt with me, that same woman, that same woman who got a billion men in her DM, if she dealt with me, she would be asking for more out of me than I would ask for out of her, so I'm still the prize. I don't give a fuck about sense. You think just because just a woman look good, I got to bow down like a bitch, because that's what the fuck's going on. And women are eating that shit alive. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, some women don't have the looks like that. So they don't get that benefit of that. But they still do on a lower level. They still do on a lower level. I just want women to understand that y'all need to start respecting men more, man. But y'all not going to do that because these men don't respect themselves. So it is what it is, man. As a man, if you respect yourself and, and you don't want to be a simp, right? You don't want to be a simp. And you don't want to be an asshole. I don't know, man. 
I really don't know what, what you can do. Because, you know, if you're not the asshole, you're not gonna get certain ones. You know, you're not gonna get the damaged women. And if you're not a simp, you're not gonna get some of the uh, women who think it's all about them. So, you can't win either way, for real, for real. If you're a good guy, you don't wanna be the asshole. But you're not going to be that attractive to them because you're the good guy. And now I got him, and now I don't want him. And if you are a, um, and if you are a man who has principles, morals, and values, you're not going to want to send. But you actually want to cater to a woman, but you don't want to send to any woman that just wants you just because you sin. So therefore, you can't pull a trigger, and you're stuck. You can't win as a man, though. You can't. Really, there's no... It, got to look up and, and find, find a woman that, it's just tough. It's tough for any man. It's way tougher. The only reason why it's tougher for women is because they can't figure out who to pick out of the billions of options they got. If that doesn't mean that they have to struggle to get men. Men are at them all day long. The problem is they can't figure out which one to pick. If they like the wrong one, they're fucked. That's all that is. If you see a woman that's happy with a man, she actually liked the right guy and she got lucky. She's lucky she liked the right guy, meaning a guy that actually liked her and wants to be with her and do her right. It's luck because most women do not like that right guy. They like guys who might be cool and all that, but they don't really see that woman as uh, what he really wants. So that woman suffers. She doesn't get what she really deserves as a woman, which is ultimate treatment, right? Because she likes the wrong guy for whatever reason. Some of them like it because they've been molded and damaged, so they like bad guys. And some of them just like it out of deception because men, men be lying and shit. You know what I mean? But either way, if, if you're a woman and you like the wrong guy, you're fucked. And she's going to get emotionally attached and she's done, man. After that, it's over with. It's over with. But men are definitely the prize, man, because think about it. A woman will never understand how hard it is to make a woman happy. Know, as a man, she, she's going to say that women don't ask for shit, but they just want comfort and love and all this, but it's it's, it's kind of cap in a way. In the way they write, but in a way it's a lot of cap. A lot of things that women say is cap, or, or, or should I say half cap. You know what I mean? Like half truth. Like there's truth to it, but at the same time they action so different. I think it's because they're emotional. So in their emotions, in their emotions, they, what they say is what they really desire and want, but their actions do some other shit. Their actions do a totally different thing. Like, I want a guy to love me, but I'm going to pick a guy that treats me like shit, basically. Shit like that. Their actions and their words usually rarely line up. But I'm done talking about this shit, man. Men are definitely the pride because women ask for more. And women know they do. And, and, and if they say they don't, they liars, man. They cap it. You cap it like a motherfucker. And I'm not a man that's against a woman getting uh, been, uh, getting the most out of a man. I feel like a woman should get more because the man's a leader. Therefore, he should be the provider, the majority provider. And I know it's independent going to come on here and say, or she's going to probably, she's probably looking at the video right now saying that I'm independent. I don't need a man, blah, blah, blah. And all that is is more cat. Because, yeah, you don't need a man and you got your own money, but you're still going to deal with a man on a higher level than you. Or you're going to pick a man beneath you so you can run him and you can be the man in the relationship. Stop the cap, man. It's already been exposed. The game that This is one thing that I don't understand about men and women. The, the social media has already exposed y'all game. Why y'all still playing games? You can't win. You know what I mean, y'all, even as men, you think these women don't go on these panels and, and keep the game that y'all trying to run? Oh, he, he trying to act high value, not, not texting me for two hours. He texts me every two hours. Yeah, I know what he's doing. I'm done with him. Next. You think they don't know the games y'all doing, man? Just like we, we can look at, at, on panels and see games that women run? The game over. Because social media is completely exposing that shit, dog. But people are still falling for it somehow, some way. How? I have no idea. Maybe they in their feelings and hoping and praying that the motherfucker don't play them after they see the red flags all over the place. You know what I'm saying?
I just think it's bullshit that as men, we are putting a woman as a prize simply because of her looks and her vagina. And I say we, so y'all don't think I'm judging, motherfuckers. I don't do it. I refuse to do it. But hey, it is what, and you see where I'm at. You see where I'm at. Why ain't I married and all that shit? Because I walk out when motherfuckers do me wrong. That's why. Period. Because I have ball. I could I could have easily been like some of the next men and put up with it. Like, I ain't, I ain't see her cheating. I know she don't really like me like that. She just trying to be there for what she can get. But I'm going to just stay anyway. Because I'm too weak to walk away like a little ass bitch. That's what women do. Scared to leave men that treat them like shit. Y'all men shouldn't be moving like that. You're supposed to be a man, dog. You're supposed to be a grown ass man. It might be hard. You might not be able to walk away the first day she did you dirty like that. But you better be planning your, your, your uh, exit. Like, man, yeah, she cheated on me, dog. It ain't in me to leave right now, but in a couple of next weeks, I'm out this bitch. I'm getting my shit moving out. You're not supposed to bow down. I'm telling y'all men right now, man. There's two things that's a problem. You know, um, for one, you acting like the woman. For one, if you act like the woman's surprised, she's not going to like you. That's why she like Mookie and Ray Ray and Chad and Tyrone. Period. You want to know the truth? Good guy. You want to know the truth? Because you act like she's the prize. That's why. She's not going to tell you that, though. She's just going to say there wasn't some spark or some shit. But really, this is why they go after guys who treat them like shit, man. It's fact. Because them guys act like they're the prize. And you, as a nice guy, you don't know how to balance this shit out. You don't know how to treat the woman. Neither do the Pookie and Ray Ray, for real. Because they treat the woman like shit, but they don't know how to treat the woman good. You know what I mean? And then you got the nice guy who treats the woman good, but he doesn't technically, aka, treat her like shit. When I say treat her like shit, meaning he doesn't act like he's surprised. It doesn't mean he literally got to treat her like shit, but the fact of the matter is, he doesn't just bow down to her, basically. They don't want that, man. There's got to be some media, there's got to be some balance there, man. There has to be. And if, and if you don't believe me, go ahead and be a nice guy and watch her start doing her shit test. Watch. Watch her start trying to say something out the line. What? That's an ugly hat. Or whatever they can think of. All these little ass games that they do. She going to do it. Just to see if you get mad or not. And then if you get mad nine times out of ten, she going to use that against you to discard you. So you can't win. Either way. But you can't be scared, dog. You can't be scared. And the Pookies and Ray Rays, their problem is, yeah, they get the benefit of the sex and all that shit, but they don't really know how to treat women um, right. Or if they do, they don't do it because they're getting benefited so much by treating women like shit. they like, fuck it, I'll just keep doing this. Why treat a woman good if I'm going to get treated like a king for treating a woman like shit? And I know women are going to say, we don't like men who do that. They say it every fucking day and they like it. But look at their life. Look at who they deal with. Don't they almost, almost all of them pick men who treat them like shit? Almost all of them. Look around you. Look around you, bro. The reason why they gravitate towards those men, because those men act like they deprived. Women naturally know that men are supposed to be like the, I don't know how to say the word, I, I hate to use prize, but I'm going to just say provider, I guess. She knows that he's supposed to be like, she's supposed to come in his world and he's supposed to be the leader of it. She knows that. Only ones you got kicking against that are women who want to be in the man's position. Dick and dick and be females. You got a lot of that going on too. Stay away from them. They don't even want to play the position of one. They want to make you their bitch. That's facts, man. They think everything is about them. You're just supposed to come in her world. And th imagine this. You're supposed to come in a woman's world and, and give her the world and, and bow down to her. And, 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 and you're supposed to create a world for her and come in and bow down to her. That's crazy, man. you the one that could change her whole entire life. But you're supposed to bow down to her too. 
because she thinks she's better than you because social media blew up her head. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You don't get cool points as a man like she get. She get points for nothing, basically. You as a man, you got to have all these things intact, though. You got to have the, the, the sex, the, the body, the money, all these things. And guess what? You still going to get shitted on. They still going to think they better than you. Why? Because social media, the, the social media, their inbox and shit. What do I mean by that? They know that you're a solid ass dude, man. They see the potential in you. They see the greatness in you. But it's just got to be something else. They always got that temptation for the next guy. You know how, like, a motherfucker make a, when I get a million dollars, I'm good, dog. I don't need no more money. They get the million dollars, now they want two million. Now they want three. That's how women are in the inbox. He's nice, he's, he's good and all, but uh, what about this one over here? It's just never enough and it's never going to be enough. Unless that woman sees you. It takes the win. It's got, it, it, it all boils down to the woman, honestly. Really, as a man, you have no control. The only control you have is to not let them play you. And, and not let them take your balls from you. That's all you can do. But all that other shit, the inboxing and... Uh, man, you ain't got no control over that shit, man. Either she gonna fuck with you or she, she not. And she not gonna fuck with you if she thinks that you're... Um, if she thinks she's the prize over you. That's what's going on. That's why you men... All these dating channels and shit mainly cater to men. You, you, women don't need to. Why, why do most women got to type in why men flaked on a date? Or why men did this? Or why they don't got to do that? But you men do. Wonder why. Wonder why men got to get on sites and wonder why women this and why women that. Sometimes yes women, but it's rare. Right? So when a woman don't think you're the prize, which she probably won't because she's always going to have the option. To, there's always going to be an option for something quote unquote better. You know what I mean? Even though it might not be better, but whatever. It's always going to seem, the grass always going to seem greener. So she's always going to keep searching. It's never going to be enough. You know what I'm saying? Not every woman. Eventually some women get smart and they pick, right? They pick the right one. But if, like I said earlier, if you're a woman and you don't like the right guy, you're fucked. You're just going to be on a never-ending search for a perfect guy that does not exist. Let me say that again. She's going to be on a never-ending search for a perfect guy that does not exist. Therefore, she's going to be searching for her whole fucking life. And she's never going to be satisfied with that perfect guy that's actually a perfect guy. Because she, she's looking for a perfect guy that doesn't exist. Even though there's a perfect guy right there, he's not good enough. Because in reality, what she's looking for, no man has that. No man has every single thing that she's looking for. Everybody has flaws, right? But you can't tell them that. They don't get it through their brains. So therefore, they're going to keep looking and searching, you know, or whatever. But anyway, if she doesn't think you're the prize, you're done. If she doesn't think you're the prize, you're done. That's why she's not picking you. That's why she thinks she's better than you. That's why she thinks she could do better than you. But I'm here to tell you today, right now, live and direct. That's only her opinion. Is it a fact? Is it a fact that just because a woman doesn't want you that she's surprised that you're not? Because nine times out of ten, she's trying to find a man to come into his world and change her world. She's not trying to look for a man to change his world. Like us men do. You know how us men do? We want to find a woman. We want to change her whole entire life and all that shit. That's not what women do. Women don't do that shit. Stop lying. They cap it. Ain't no woman walking around this motherfucker. I want to get with a man. I just want to change his whole entire life. Now, you do have women who want to come into your life and make your life better, which is what it's supposed to be. Right? But no woman is out here saying, I just want to change his whole entire life. Everything. Buy his, pay his car off, all that. Every bill he got, get rid of it. Ain't no, ain't no woman doing that shit, man. But us men are doing that shit. But yet we're treated like shit. Yet we're still not looked at as the prize. How the fuck are you not the prize? How? If I'm willing to change your whole entire life, 
in all aspects, not just financial, mentally, all that. How the fuck am I not the prize? Men, these women have bitten the um, feminist apple, dog, and it's making them not be able to be satisfied with men. No man's good enough for them now. The ones who bit that apple, no man is good enough for them. It's unfortunate. Stay away from them. There's still women out here who value you. You know how people say go overseas and these women treat you like kings and all that? You still got women here who value men and actually understand and appreciate men. Right? But the ones who don't, get the fuck away from them, man. Just stay away from them. And most times it's a woman who thinks she's better than you. But as men, look, dog. Like I tell all these young helpers that come in my in my truck, man, the world is yours, dog. Leave the woman alone. Leave the women alone. Build yourself, man. As a man, you gotta do this. We gotta earn our work. They don't got to. All they gotta put on makeup. I got a vagina. I work all this. She's worth more than you by default at birth. Just cause she got a vagina. In the sexual market value place, she's worth more than you. She's gonna be able to get more attention to you, all that shit. Right? But as men, look, build yourself up, man. Focus on self-improvement. The most high will give you the woman that deserves you. Most of these women do not deserve you. That's why the most high blocking them from you. Get, get away from him. I, I got somebody special for him. Get away. Look at the red flag. I'm going to expose her to you so, so she'll get away. She's not for you. That's what the most high do. He keep them away. They not for you. They not supposed to be there for you. Why would God build you up? If you go through God and allow God to build you up, why would he give you off to some woman that don't deserve it? He's not going to do that. He's going to save you for a woman that deserves you, though. That's why one thing against the uh, red pill shit that all women are, but I, I don't completely agree with that because I believe with God, anything's possible. So if there's a woman for you, I feel like God will put that woman in your life. You got to let God do that, though. You can't go out doing all these uh, techniques and shit trying to attract women You ain't got to You ain't got to uh, What happened to the most high? I thought we were supposed to lean on him I thought we were supposed to lean on God What happened to that? Slow the fuck down man Stop trying to move Don't worry about why they don't like you There's a reason for everything There's a reason for everything There's a reason why that woman don't like you Or she's fucked him or cheated or whatever Trust me on that Because I've been in relationships where you, about to, you feel like you're going to die like, damn, I got to leave this woman alone. I feel like I'm going to die for the next year. But then you look back like, oh, I see why God didn't want me for her. What the fuck? I'm glad I didn't fuck her. I'm glad I didn't end up with her. No offense. Just saying. They might feel the same way. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm telling y'all men right now, man. You're the prize, dog. Because women ask for more out of you than you ask for out of them. And that's okay. As a man, and that's okay if she's the right woman. If she's the right woman, it's completely okay because we are the providers and the leaders. It's okay. But she got to be the right woman. That's the key. And not any woman. That's the problem with y'all men. Any woman, y'all giving it to any woman. Every woman ain't a prize, a gift. A woman's the gift. The man's the prize, a woman's the gift. Every woman's not a gift though, ma'am. Wake up, G. Every woman is not a gift for you. Y'all can't just think she's a gift because she looks decent and got a fucking vagina, man. This is why women think they better than y'all, man. Even as me, everybody know all the things that I got going on. I guarantee you women still look down to me like they better than me. And I guarantee you, they really not. But social media got to believe in that. I can do way better than him. Why she think this? Because a guy is willing to fuck her. That's why. Maybe a guy that she likes way better than you, more attractive than you. That's why she thinks she's better than you. Because that guy will fuck her. So she looking down on you like you're nothing. The CEO fucked me last night. Let me suck his dick last night. So you're, I, I can get Kobe Bryant. Who are you, Juan? You know about it. Even though she's on a lower level than you. All Kobe wanted to do is just use it, right? I got to stop saying Kobe. I'm going to say LeBron or something for now. I don't, I don't feel right when I say Kobe. You know what I mean? But whatever, man. Anyway, man, you're the prize, man. You are the prize, man. Because women, the men, only way you're not the prize, if you want to be a bitch and cater to, let your woman take care of you like a bitch. And we're not talking about you got hurt, she took it over for now. We're not talking about that. We literally talking about you 
living off of a woman. That's the only way she's a prize. If not, there's no way because women want men, women date up. They do not date down. Only date down to get the power to make you their little bitch.